In this video, I am going to run you through the procedure on how to test your total cholesterol, triglyceride, HDL, and LDL using the Curo L5 device. I purchased this Curo L5 device and this profile test strips online at curofit.com. Alright, so when you're ready to perform the test, make sure that you wash your hands with warm water and mild soap and get them as warm as possible. So to perform the test, this is what I need. The Curo L5 meter, profile gas strips, the Lancet, three capillary rods, and the lancing device. Why three capillary rods? It is because we will be needing uh, three blood samples. Okay, let me show you the capillary rod. There's a half moon shape on the capillary rod collection area. We need to fill this with our blood sample. And also, Curo L5 device requires five microliter amount of blood. So basically, it is very important to use this capillary rod. It's for both infection control and accuracy purposes. Before testing, let me code the meter. Um, and let me just tell you that each vial of test strips has RFID tag. So to code the device, hold down the down arrow for 3 seconds. Code RF will be displayed on the screen. Then. Place the RFID tag on the strip vial next to the um, RFID symbol on the bottle. 1799, that's the code showing on the device. So once you hear that beep sound, it means that the device recognizes the RFID code showing on the bottle. Okay. So um, every time you purchase a new vial, you have to code the device, but you only have to do it once per vial. Okay, now let me insert the profile testing strip at the bottom of the device. Uh, this profile testing strip is colored black. It has three holes. Um, each hole corresponds to TC, HDL, and TG. Okay, then press the power button. Alright, to perform the test, first unscrew the lensing device. Push the lancet firmly until it hit the base and then load the lancet, just pull the bottom part of it, okay, and then remove the tip of the lancet and then apply the lead back. Okay, so it's now ready to lance. Then um, this number showing here um, is actually the depth setting. Uh, it's adjustable from 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 is the shallowest and number 5 is the deepest. Uh, because the device requires a good sample of blood, I'm going to go for number 5. Okay, I am now ready to start the test. Let me just sanitize my finger to make sure that there's no residue left. Okay, and to... Um, Okay, let me just massage my finger first because it will actually help the blood flow um, into my uh, fingertip. Alright. Now, uh, to lance the lancet, just push the button in the middle of the lancing device. Okay, and um, squeeze a little bit. Okay. Now, when collecting the blood sample, position your finger in 90 degree angle. Uh, let the tip of the capillary rod touch the blood. It's actually easier to collect the blood this way. And when applying on the test strip, uh, the capillary rod should be in 45 degree angle. On the second blood sample, we need to use a new capillary rod. Same position, uh, finger should be in 90 degree angle and when applying um, the capillary rod on the test strip should be in 45 degree angle. Okay, and then let's wait for the beep sound before removing the um, capillary rod from the test strip. Okay, 
And again, on the third sample, we need to use new capillary um, rod again. And uh, finger should be in 90 degree angle. When applying the blood sample, it should be in 45 degree angle. Okay, now, let's, um, once you hear the beep, then that's good to go. All right, um, as you can see, um, the device is now starting to read the result of the test. Okay, this may take one to two minutes to get the result. And what we're going to do now is just wait for the countdown and then once it's done with a calculation, it will display the result real time. The meter will display the total cholesterol, triglyceride, HDL, and calculated LDL. Okay, now I have the result for my total cholesterol, triglyceride, HDL, and LDL. Okay, so that's all for now. I hope this helps and thank you for watching.